Hello everyone, it's Megan and I'm here with a necklace tutorial. Alright, so let's get started. You'll need a 17 inch chain, two 3 inch chains, four 2 inch chains, and one 4 inch chain. But I'll cover that again later so don't worry about it. So now I'm starting out with a 22 gauge wire and I am stringing it through my large bead. Alright, so now you're going to form a short side and a long side. And we're going to take the short side, which is about 2 inches, and wrap it around the long side about 3 or 4 times. Okay. And we're forming the, the wrap around so that it doesn't come undone. So it's nice and secure. Now we're going to form a loop with the long wire. And this is a personal preference. I always hold it with either chain nose pliers or round nose pliers. It helps with the wrapping. At least the initial wrapping. <laughs> just gonna keep wrapping and checking and make sure it's overlapping correctly and it's nice and snug around your bead and the wires so initially you're just making a bead cap for your bead <laughs> all right now I got a nice start so I got rid of the nose pliers and I'm just checking to make sure my beads getting covered properly straight and even. The next thing is to do a few little designs with the wire. This is totally optional, but I kind of like having a design on mine. And I'm just going to wrap a few more times around my bead cap so it's nice and sturdy. And I'm going to trim off my wire and I'm going to try to push it through the hole. Now this would have been perfect if I would have cut the wire a little shorter, but I didn't. So you can see that I'm struggling and I'm trying to make it snug and it's just not working for me. So then I try to take the wire out of the hole and it totally didn't dot on me that all I had to do was just snip it a little shorter. So I'm just trying to add another design and it would have been fine, but I hated it because it just didn't match what I had already made. I'm still fiddling with it and I'm like, ah, oh, I just forget, I'll just snip it off. And that's all I had to do, I just had to snip it and then stick it back in the hole. And it was perfect, perfect fit. Now I'm going to make some wire wrap beads. So I'm just using the same wire I did before and I'm wrapping it around my round nose pliers to form a loop and I'm just going to wrap it around the short end around the long piece of wire. Now depending on how many beads you're using depends on how long you're going to make the wire. So I'd say about three or four inches to start out with if you're only going to put two beads on it that are tiny beads until you get used to working with the wire. So just wrap it around a few times and snip off the excess wire. So initially you're just kind of making an eye pin with a few wraps. I'm stringing the beads and here is how you make another loop. You just do a 90 degree angle with your flat nose pliers and you grab a hold of it with the round nose pliers and you just wrap the wire around. So you hold it and then wrap. <laughs> and that's how you make a wire wrap bead. You will need eight beads for this particular necklace. You can mix and match them like I did or have them all matching. 
All right, so now we're gonna get our chain, our 17 inch one, and we're going to attach our first bead. Just gonna open it. And then we're going to put the bead on there. And then close it. And then we're going to open our three inch chain and attach it to the bead. I didn't use jump rings because I just didn't feel like doing that. <laughs> but if you feel like you wanna add jump rings, go right ahead. Now we're gonna open the other side and attach our bead that corresponds with that one. Now, I did not have a clasp on mine because I made my chain extra long, but if you feel like you want a clasp, go right ahead, just divide the 17 inch chain in half and attach it. All right, so now you're gonna get your four two inch chains and your beads and attach them all together with two on one side and two on the other side. Finally, we're on our last step. We're going to add the last set of beads and our very last chain, which is four inches long. We're gonna attach a bead on each side and before we completely attach it to the other side, we're going to string our bead pendant. So thank you so much for watching and if you do do this necklace, I would love to see it. So do hashtag little hot tamale on Instagram. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more of these videos, just let me know and I will try to do that tutorial. Toodles!